Kuzar, everybody, and welcome to another Fallout 76 video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to get your shelter and just a little bit of the basics so you can get it all done with. But before all that, please go ahead, like, share, subscribe, click the bell notification so you know when my videos go live. That's it. That's all we need to do. Let's get into the video so you can actually learn all this stuff and get into building your shelters. So, once you've loaded into the game, I would recommend you come all the way over here uh, to Sutton. Sutton's the easiest one, it's the closest one you can get. All you gotta do is walk inside, right around the corner, bish bash bosh, real good nosh. Your new home shelter. See, all you gotta do is click on that, and because I've already done it, I don't need to, but you click on that, and then it'll tell you, and I keep thinking that pressing circle opens up the menu to go into the map, but you will then want to go over to Vault 51, which will not be on your map, okay? You actually discover it. So you go over to Vault 51, and then of course, when you load up uh, Vault 51, you'll be here, once you discover it, when you if you haven't discovered it, you'll have to spawn in close and then run up the hill. But you just come up here like this, and you'll see that there is something over here, which just so happens to be your new home shelters. And inside here is you'll just click it, and you'll pop on inside, and it's really easy. It's just seriously getting getting the shelter at the beginning of the game, super easy. Okay, it's it's not like you've got to jump through hoops, backflip, do all this other kind of stuff. It's really simple. Load in, and then when you load in, you'll see. Uh, Mr. Handy, right in front of you. Now, because I've already done it, I'm not going to bother, but talk to Mr. Handy, he'll tell you to go register. Once you've registered, you'll just pop around the back. Do you want this? You'll go, boop, 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 you've registered. Go back to him, talk to him, you'll be like, blah, 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 and then you'll have, you know, you finish your dialogue saying, done, completed it. That's how you get your your camp shelter to place down at your camp. So now that that's done out of the way, and we know how to get the camp shelter, all you got to do, zip on over to your camp, and let's uh, let's figure out how to build it, shall we? Righty ho, I've loaded in at my camp and you can see I already have mine placed, but to do it, all you can do, open your build menu, scroll all the way over to the far right, seriously, it's all the way on the far right, and boom, there you go. It costs no it costs nothing to build. It's it's one concrete, two steel. Everybody just have that. Hey Graham, how you doing? Having fun? See you in a bit. So let's head on down to the camp shelter and I'll give you the I'll give you the basic overview, because that's what the entirety of this video is, just shelter basics. So I'll give you the basic thing. And that'll be it, and you'll be able to get into the game and get your shelters going if you don't know already. In we go. All right, when you spawn in, you'll have this little intro kind of room. I've already got doors set up because I'm, I'm experimenting with some stuff. But there's your door to the outside world. You come in from here, and you can do all the different kind of stuff. You can build in here. It's actually cool. You can actually build in here. You know, you can stick, stick stuff down. And you're probably wondering, you know, why can I make this thing float? You can float things in this camp. I could stick a chair in the sky if I wanted to. Now, snapping for me is on. So if I was to go across to something such as a wall, it would snap in like that, see? But if I turn it off, ooh, ho, ho, it's free floating now, baby! But you have a control panel over here. Now I've turned my hood off so you can't see, but this gives you three options. You can repair everything, you can start building by pressing X, as you can see, like that. Uh, and you can scrap everything, you can repair everything, and you can start building again. Well, let's go on inside. And uh, we'll have a bit of fun. Now, ignore my <laughs> fucking overcomplicated door. <laughs> in we go. Uh, this is the main room on the inside. Now, this is the free one. The one for the Fallout First members comes out pretty soon. But as you can see, I've been experimenting with some stuff. I've got a little bit of a BOS kind of theme going on. They're, they're doing some planning. Doing some, you know, we're going to take back the Capitol building and stuff like that. I managed to, do, uh, you know, get a TV going in. And you can actually merge stuff down in here just by using the flamethrower trap, which is really easy. So, you know, I can see, you can see I've been messing around with a bunch of other stuff. Been uh, making a little bunk bed over here, having a bit of fun, you know. It does actually work. It's floating. I'm trying to figure out something to do with the pole right now. But the basics of this entire system is you have a free standing basic area that you can do whatever you want in it's it's not massive okay it's not massive it's not bad and you also get a new power source which is the shelter power source right there which i'll show you right now bippity boppity boop there it is it's the vault power bank it only offers 12 power so as you can see by the way i have vaults I, i've uh toggled snapping off so i could stick it in the floor like this stick it in the roof you know, I could I can't put it in. Well, I could put it in backwards actually, but that would be pointless because I need to hook stuff up to it. But if I turn snapping on, you can see now when I get close to the wall, it snaps back to its original spot. And then of course I can't put it through the floor unless I do that, which I can't place it and I can't put it, you know. But you know, I could do that if I turn it off. It's simply just square. So you got to do toggle it on and off. Now this does come in handy with some stuff. Uh, so with things like the floors, 
You can even you can use the what, uh, the roofs as, as floors if you wanted to. Uh, but it does come in handy with, you know, I've got this little garden that I'm testing right here using some of the new parts. And it does come in handy. If I turn if I turn snapping on, you know, buff, uh, sorry, turn it on, I can, you know, do this kind of stuff. But if I turn snapping off, I can actually get it and I can fiddle around with it. I can find the really good spot where, well, that's in the way. I can find where I can get it like closest to the wall so you can maximize the amount of space that you, you use. So you can see, if I stick it down right there, it's actually clipping in to some stuff. And you can clip in a little bit, but if I if I, uh, I turn snapping on, I can't do that. It snaps, well, it's snapping to that right there, but as you can see, I'm having a bit of trouble with it because it'll always snap down. But if I turn it off, boom, look at that. It's pretty simple. Camp shells, not much to it, mate. It's 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 basic, it's simple, it's awesome stuff. I'm dicking around with doors, I'm dicking around with bunk beds, I'm dicking around with floors, I'm dicking around with this stuff, which you unlock by doing the, the main campaign stuff, this this cool table, which uh man, it's like Star Trek Enterprise over here. It's great. It's absolutely great. Shelters, really simple. I've shown you how to get them and you can do whatever you want in them. I'm, like I said, experimenting with a bunch of stuff. If I wanted to, I could probably yep. If I wanted to, I could make it so you, so you sleep in dirt. See? Snapping toggle on and off is great. You can you can stick stuff on top of each other. You can stick stick stairs. There's new stairs. You can you know stick them in the sky if you want and all that kind of stuff. Door. You want a floating door so you can just like walk up to a door and open a door and walk through it and close a door that has absolutely no purpose whatsoever. There you go. You can you can make a floating you can make a floating door shelter. But that's that's all you need to know. There is nothing more complex than toggling on and off that is the oh, that is the most complex thing of this toggling the thing on and off and even when it's on you can still free float stuff toggling it off you can just you know put it somewhere stupid but there you go that's that's like the basics of shelter and there's uh, shelters and there's nothing more to them seriously there's nothing more to them you know how to get them you know what you can do with them go have fun with them and there you have it ladies and gentlemen it's pretty damn simple to get the shelters that you need Building in them is really easy, really fun. Uh, playing the main campaign as well gets you some good stuff that you can put in there. So go ahead and do that. But apart from that, uh, there's not much else to tell you. It's all pretty damn simple. That's the basics of it. And I mean, there is actually nothing left for me to tell you. I can't show you how to get them again. Uh, but I will tell you that coming up in the future, I think next week is the Fallout First shelter. And then after that is the Atom Shop shelter that you can buy. Uh, but that's all for the video, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you get your shelters up and run. Hope you have a bit of fun with them. But until the next time, you know the drill. Like, share and subscribe. And as always, stay awesome.